Division of rationals. Now, division of rationals is very similar to multiplication of rationals, except that you have to take those division signs and make them into a multiplication, like so that it becomes a multiplication question. And then you've got exactly what you've been doing with multiplication of rationals. So before we get into the algorithm and how to do those types of questions, I want to ensure that you understand what is going on and why we change these divisions into multiplications. So to begin with, before I, I do an example with fraction, I want to do one where I'm just going to give you 12 divided by 3, a very simple example. And what does that say? Well, if you've got 12, it says divided by 3, that means how many groups of 3 or how many 3's can you take out of 12? Some people like to say how many 3's go into 12. But let's right now say how many 3's can you take out of 12? Well, that is 4. So if you have 12 things and you took out um, groupings of three, you would have four groups of those three. Now, let's go up to here and look at an example that uses a very simple fraction. And that is if you have two divided by one quarter, how many groups of one quarter or how many quarters will go into two? Or how many quarters can you take out of two? That's really what division is saying. Well, look here, I've got a couple of circles here and I've divided it up into quarters. How many quarters can you take out? Well, four and four, which is eight. So that's your answer. There are eight quarters. Two divided by one quarter is eight. Now, how is that written? That's fine, but I don't, you don't want to look at, at circles all the time and try and figure out how many fit in and how many don't. There's an algorithm that works really well and basically you're taking that two and you're saying for each one of these pies or these circles there are four quarters. So instead of uh, using the division sign now, you actually take this number and you're going to flip it or find the reciprocal of it. So instead of two and two divided by one quarter now, that is the same as two times four over one. And notice that that division sign goes with the number that follows it. And that's what's, what changes. When you ch change this from division to multiplication, this flips. It happens at the same time. So now you've got two times four, which is eight. Same answer. Let's look at the same idea here and then look at the algorithm. First of all, now in this case you've got two and three quarters divided by one quarter, not just two divided by a quarter. So two and three quarters, again, you've got, divide, I've written it out here, so you've got two and then there's a three quarters here shaded in. So you've got four and four plus another three. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You've got eleven quarters will fit into or can be taken out of two and three quarters. So your answer is eleven because eleven quarters can fit into two and three quarters, right? Now, how do you write that as an algorithm? Again, you start off with, with the question and this time you want to rewrite this so it's an improper fraction just like you did with your rational numbers when multiplying them. So 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11 over 4 and there are how many, well you, want, you know you need to multiply by 4 because for each one of these circles there's 4 of them. So again you multiply and at the same time you take the reciprocal, you flip it over. As soon as you change this in division, you change this number as well, right? So what you've got is 11. And if you're not too sure how to multiply from here to here, go back to the video that was done before with multiplication of rationals. Now in this case, it's another example. It just progresses a little bit further because instead of just one quarter, you've got two and a quarter divided by three quarters this time. So you need to know how many of these three quarters can be taken out of two and a quarter. Well, here's A, A, A. So there, there's one three quarter. I've done a B, B, B. There's two three quarters. And C, C, C. There's three of these things. All right, so, and that is two and a quarter shaded in. So, in other words, your answer is three because you have three of these groupings that can be taken out of two and a quarter. Now, 
to write the algorithm, again, you can rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite it immediately as an improper fraction. So 2 times 4 plus 1 is 9 quarters. And divide that by 3 quarters. And that's the same as saying 9, and three quarter, or 9 quarters times 4 over 3. Because you know for each one of these circles there's four parts, but they're in bundles of 3. So therefore, you can flip it and you just multiply it out and you will get the number. So if you multiply that out, can you see these cancel? 3 goes into 9 3 times. So your answer is 3. This is the explanation why. This is the algorithm. The algorithm is what you're going to use to get into much more interesting questions such as this. So you do not have to show the circles anymore, please. It's, these circles are for you to understand why division of fractions works. You can also do that on a number line, the same concept in terms of groups of numbers. This is just one way to show it. So now let's look at the algorithm and look at a much more interesting question than these simple things. Right, so here's a question that's very similar to what you've had before, except it's only been a multiplication of rational numbers. This has division. That's the difference. Now, this division sign goes with a number that follows it just like you did re relocation property. Now the first step, just like it, you did with relocation property when you had multiplication or divisions, is to find out if it's positive or negative at the end. And the same when multiplying rationals. So here there's two negatives, the answer is going to be positive, and you can see that's positive. The next thing, just like what you did with multiplying rational numbers, you have to get rid of these mixed numbers and make it into improper fractions so that you have all the numbers in the numerator or in the denominator. So that's what happened here. 532 times 6 plus 123 is 3,315. And you made this into improper fraction and this into improper fraction. Now you can do something with this because now you can flip these numbers. So the next step before you can multiply, because you need to be able to multiply these out, is you keep this the same, because this is the same as saying 1 times this, so this has a multiplication in front of it. That stays the same, 3315 divided by 532. Then you multiply by, when you change this to multiplication, you have to change this at the same time. So it's 726 over 2275. And then the next one, you're changing that to a multiplication, which means this has to change. And you've got the reciprocal here, 6171. Now you've got a multiplication of rational's question. You prime factor, you cancel out, and you get your final answer. And that's it for division of rational.